Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Advertisers Watching Ads, uh, brought to you by Automated Creative and our partners at Contagious Magazine. Uh, this week we are going to be talking about a new campaign from KFC in Spain, uh, so the Copy Paste campaign, which is a combination of uh, kind of YouTube content sleuthing hub to get people participating and searching out KFC related content, and um, combined with a promotional mechanic. Uh, so we have a case study video which we can play and, and also talk this week with our guests. I'm Fran. Uh, I'm the strategy director of 20 Something. We are a creative company in London who we are set up to explore new ideas, new systems, new audiences, um, and we specialise in design, advertising and strategy. Hi, and I'm Joe Kamiski. I head up e-commerce at Byersdorf across Europe. Thank you for our guests. And um, obviously this week we want to talk about the promotional mechanic uh, from KFC. This was something that ran across Spain for the month of October. Hola. Hola amigos. Somos los de KFC. KFC. Bueno, no exactamente. Somos, 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 somos los que hemos probado a cocinar una imitación de la receta original. Al estilo KFC. No es la receta original. Hay mucha gente que intenta replicar la receta de KFC. Todos fallan. Copy, 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 copy. Coronel. Yes. Copy. Y por eso ahora KFC ha convertido nuestros videos en pollo. Gratis. Pollo, pollo. Gratis. Para probar la receta. Original. The original recipe. La receta secreta. Del coronel. Pollo, gratis. Pollo, pollo, pollo. Gratis. Pollo, gratis. Pollo, pollo, pollo. Chicken, right, 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 chicken. Que es gratis, que mucha gente se cree que hay que pagar dinerito y no hay que pagar nada. So guys, what was your first impressions? With KFC in general, over the last few years, I think they've done some really interesting Um, culture defining work, you know, the 21st century, where it's, you know, what is this idea of originality in a world of content creators, in a world of NFTs, all of these sort of um, really interesting dynamics that are going on at the moment. And then we see this spot where it starts talking about, you know, originality in the space of all these YouTube videos that are the kind of unoriginal versions of KFC, I think is a really nice and interesting way of playing Uh, with that kind of brand platform that has existed for decades and is now revitalized in this space. I think from a kind of executional point of view, the main thing that struck me was that it felt like they'd observed this thing that's happening in culture and then just kind of played it back, basically. And, and the thing being people make their own recipes rather than necessarily adding anything to that conversation or being or adding value to that behavior. It fell a little bit flat because there was no sort of, what does KFC think about this behavior? What does KFC want you to do with this behavior? Where do we go from here? You know, it just felt very much like a, this is happening guys, join in sort of thing. Mm -hmm. I think KFC have done some great stuff, especially in the digital space. Um, I think one of the things that they do really well is being relevant to what the current conversation is, whether that's jumping on the back of other brand conversations or um, points of news that are happening. I think they do very well to stay relevant and bring a kind of tongue in cheek twist to most of the most of the activations that they do. This in terms of a campaign confuses me slightly in terms of what they wanted consumers to have got back from this and also how they want to appear to creators as part of it. So I'm not sure if it's a celebration of the creators or actually saying, yeah, but you're not quite as good as us. So I think there's there's a tone bit there, which for me was missing slightly in it. So Joe, um, obviously uh, e-commerce uh, expert and king, um, how would you potentially have adapted or changed the journey? And um, what was working for it for you? What, what would you improve? So I think the bit that's good is there was a clear kind of call to action in terms of then go out and get your chicken. So driving people into store is always a tricky one because they're in that, 
they're in the digital environment. Actually, at this point, they're just trying to probably kick back and relax and watch a few different YouTube videos. I mean, I don't know, maybe they did some really clever things in terms of timings and the targeting on it. The question for me is the, the why. I think if you're a consumer, you might question the why does me copying and pasting this in get me the voucher? Like, why, why would the brand want me to do that? I think, Joe, it comes back to what we were saying a couple of minutes ago about like, what is the message from the brand? Because I can see logically how you might go, okay, people are searching for these, you know, close to recipes. Instead of doing that, why don't you go and have some of the real stuff? But the, that message just doesn't come through. There's no kind of voice of the brand in, in the work, or maybe it's because of the nature of it being a case study video, basically. Um, but for me, I don't get the so what of all these videos are up, you should search for them, and da, da, da. My question would be, how big was this? Because ultimately, even trying to Google around it, there didn't seem to be a lot um, of information around the campaign. Um, and yet there was a very nice and very quick case study video that's been put up on it. For me, I'd like to understand a bit more of the stats and, and actually the reach on this because it, it feels a bit like this was more something the brand wanted to do than was actually a real drive for consumers. What I find really fascinating about this work is it's almost like a meme in reverse. Like if you think that memes are kind of... Um, a cultural artifact that's passed between people in order to kind of, you know, through imitation, what they're doing is taking their imitation and positioning, demonstrating their place in culture through it. Uh, and I think that's really interesting. And I think the idea of brands exploring means um, as a way to kind of like Geolingo do it really well at the moment, you know, the slightly pushy sort of teacher role that's a bit cheeky and they've just run with it. Looking for the voices around your brand and then harnessing them and playing them back and adding to them and building on them, um, I really think is kind of a miss, an opportunity many miss these days. It feels kind of double-edged on this. On the one side, it's celebrating celebrating these content creators but it's also kind of saying but not as good as us and that is a bit tongue-in-cheek on so you know I, I don't think kfc is intending to cause any offense to creators and i'm sure none none is taken on it but it's it's a it's an interesting way of approaching that i think most brands actually go the other way which is go out to content creators and ask them to create a load of content this is jumping on the back we've got a load of content here let's celebrate the fact it's here yeah let's celebrate the fact that all these people off their own back want to you know, love KFC so much, they want to imitate it. So it, in many ways, I think it's quite a nice reflection to be able to bring that back. That's quite nice in celebrating it, yet at the same time, keeping that brand authority of, yep, you know, you like to copy us so much, but ultimately the originals, they're going to deliver better than what you can create. Ultimately, this was a giving coupons out voucher campaign. So actually, are we looking at this the wrong way around? Should we be saying that from trying to make brand moments out of something that's quite functional and um, kind of retail led actually is, is that something to be celebrated because they're trying to add on something more and, and do more than just give out coupons. It crossed my mind when I saw the case study, I was like, what was the brief for this? Like was the brief, you know, do something to uh, reinforce our position in culture as the original or was the brief, how do we give away some chicken? And I think it depends where you start to say what the value of the uh, outcome the outcome was. So what we would love to, you to both to do is um, on the count of three, uh, if you hold up your hand and give it a mark out of five, just with your fingers and, and we will uh, sum up there. So one, two, three. Three from Fran. Oh, threes across the board. So thank you everyone for watching this week's episode of Advertisers Watching Ads and um, brought to you in partnership with Automated Creative and Contagious Magazine. Um, and a massive thank you to both of our guests with some really considered um, and thoughtful uh, comments, both on KFC as the brand, the campaign, but also the wider context of where this campaign is sitting. Um, so thank you very much and we'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.